everybody my name is taylor and welcome back to my channel so in today's video we are going to be doing a boohoo try on haul uh, uh, um this stuff from boohoo for like like months well yeah like probably like close to four months because i ordered a bunch of this stuff um prior to quarantine prior to covid hitting and a lot of this stuff i wanted to wear like um probably at the beginning of summer but you know was, i just kind of was just in a stump because of everything that's happened and how like it just covid canceled a lot of my plans so i just let this bag sit in my room and just didn't do anything with it but i'm finally ready to at least just try it on and show you all some of these looks that i had planned on wearing if you are interested in seeing some of the things that i got from boohoo then just keep on watching so the first thing that i tried on was this black off the shoulder dress and I like the way this dress fit a lot. This dress fit better than I thought it was gonna fit. This dress is called the Off the Shoulder Wrap Mid Midi Dress in black. And I got this in a size US 10, but I thought that this dress was probably the most successful thing that I got off Boohoo because of the way it fit. Like it even looks, it complements my shape. It complements my figure. Um, it accentuates my curves. Like this is the type of dress that I would wear to a wedding if somebody got married and somebody invited me. I feel like that's the kind of dress that I would wear. Or even a date night. It was like the perfect dress to wear. Like I really envision myself wearing that dress on a date night, um, celebrating my anniversary with that. However, you know, Rona happened, so therefore I couldn't do that. So I feel like this is a, just an all around like dress that you can wear anywhere. And I like the fact that it was actually off the shoulder like it like it was described because sometimes you get things and it is not off the shoulder <laughs> it's on the shoulder but you have to push it off the shoulder physically so with this dress this was a 10 out of 10 definitely would recommend so the next thing i tried on were these pants and this off the shoulder off the shoulder bodysuit um and i got the bodysuit also in a size 10 and i believe the pants are also in a size 10 us size 10. bodysuit is called the daisy twist front bodysuit and the pants are called pants are called the tailored tapered trouser so they're like yeah trousers this suit was not necessarily sh off the sh actually it wasn't off the shoulder at all i don't know why i'm trying to cover that up it was not off the shoulder as described in the description of the product it is more on the shoulder. I tried to like maybe take out the shoulder a little bit. It was not budging whatsoever. And I don't know if maybe I should have went up a size or what. I mean, it fit just fine. So I don't think that I should have went up a size. I just think that it's not true to the description. Like it's not off the shoulder like they say it is. Um, it, but it still looks nice either way. I think I would definitely not wear these pants with this bodysuit because it isn't stretchy enough and it's not high waist enough. I think that this is the type of bodysuit that like that little midsection area, that midsection area like needs to be covered up for me personally with a bodysuit and not because it looks unflattering just because it's supposed that part of the bodysuit is not supposed to be seen. It's supposed to be discreet, which is why it's a bodysuit. And I kind of don't know why I ordered a bodysuit because I have a thing against Boohoo bodysuits. And this is the second one I've ever ordered in my history of ordering from Boohoo. And they all kind of like they aren't stretchy enough for me when you're trying to snap it in place that I end up just being like, F the snapping part, I'm just gonna tuck it in my pants. But that defeats the purpose if you wanna wear like a fitted skirt or some fitted pants like these trousers. So that is why I didn't even turn around um, when I was trying it on because the back of it was not something you wanted to see. And I'm definitely not trying to get my video reported or anything like that. So yeah, I didn't wanna show the back because also these trousers are a little bit see-through-ish. Um, so definitely if you're gonna wear these, do not wear any underwear that is on the lighter side. Definitely wear some darker underwear, some black underwear, something like that, because uh, it it's a little sheerish. Like you can kind of see, I can kind of see um, my butt cheeks a little bit, and, but then I'm gonna attribute to the fact that I am not wearing the darkest undergarments that I could possibly be wearing. Other than the fact that the bodysuit does not come off the shoulder like it should, I think that I still like it and I would still rock it and I would wear it with some of the shoes I've recently ordered. So, I mean, I don't know when I get a chance to wear it out and about, but um, even if I just get to sit down and like film and wear it in a video or something like that, I would do that. However, I'm just a little disappointed that it's not off the shoulder. If you notice also the bodysuit kind of looks like the off the shoulder dress, which is also what drew me to purchasing the off the shoulder crop top because I mean, why do I keep saying crop top? 
not a crop top. This is what also drew me to buying the bodysuit because it looks like the dress and I really like the design of the dress. So unfortunately they don't look exactly the same. The material however is the same. The structure of it is the same with the sleeves and everything. So I feel like I would not give this a 10 out of 10. I feel like the bodysuit I would give a 8 out of 10 because it does not snap off the shoulder and it also does not um it doesn't fall off the shoulder and also it's a little difficult to snap that area where you're trying to snap the bodysuit at the bottom it does not stretch and i don't like that and the pants i'm going to give a 7 out of 10 because it's missing a belt and it's a little too sheer so even though like the outfit is giving me all together um lawyer vibes like oh i gotta represent my client at 10. it's also giving me brunch vibes like so after I, after i represent my client in court i gotta go meet my girls to drink some mimosas so i just feel like it's a, definitely a versatile outfit however what you get when you order online like it's really hit or miss but i can definitely work with it for the next outfit i kept on the pants um because i so when i shop i like to Think of pieces that I could wear very versatile ways. I don't have to just strictly pair it with what I originally bought it for. Like I could switch it up with different pieces in my closet. So that's why I, I bought those trousers uh, so that I could pair it with this crop top. And maybe that's why I kept saying crop top for the off the shoulder because I'm thinking about this top. So the top I like a lot. I got this one in a US size eight because I believe they were out of stock in the 10, but I'm glad I got the eight because it fit just fine this uh crop top is called the Dolby mesh long sleeve square neck crop that is long because i don't know what to say I like the way this look i'm pretty sure people have been seeing this style of crop top or this style of shirt um or this style of tops um become available on all types of different boutiques and when i saw this i was like you know i was really looking for like cute tops to film in because really and truly the lower half of you doesn't matter when you're filming all you can see is the top half of somebody so i try to make sure i get really cute tops to film or film in there after i'm done with my makeup or my hair or whatever so i really wanted this because i feel like this will be so cute with um some type of soft lavender makeup or something like that so i that's why i went and got it and um i feel like this is the type of top that should be worn with those pink trousers because as you can see i don't need to tuck anything in and it kind it doesn't look unflattering on my body and the only thing i would say with this is this crop top is that like unless you are like queen of the under boob you should definitely wear a bra with this um i was trying not to like raise my hand too high or anything like that because this crop this crop top will definitely, you know, you will be saying peekaboo from underneath in this crop top. If that's not a big deal to you, then this is your girl. This is the thing you need to buy. Um, but if it's if that's something you're concerned about, I would say maybe go up a size or definitely just make sure you have on the appropriate strapless bra with this. Um, I like the design of the sleeves of this shirt, which is also what drew me to it. Because you can really get creative with these type of tops. You can do maybe a mesh floral design. And this isn't really like a, these are not, not even really polka dots. There's some type of like, I don't even know. But it has, I like the, the, the incorporation of this design into the mesh of the sleeves. And I feel like that's what really makes this top pop. And I like the way it look all together with those. This one, I would give a, I would give it a 10 out of 10. Um, just because I was not thrown for any loops when trying this on. I was not surprised by anything. I feel like it it matches the description. Um, it looks like how it looked in the picture and it feels just fine and I didn't have any trouble. The next thing that I got was this shirt from Boohoo and I, I'm going to tell you right off the back, this is a 2 out of 10. And the reason why is because when I ordered this top, it was supposed to be a crop top and i'm definitely going to make sure i insert that picture because i know i'm not tripping like it, that's the reason why i was so inclined to purchasing it because i'm like oh like this looks so cute like i like that like boxy shirt looking kind of thing as almost as if i cut it myself but i didn't um i like that kind of look however when i got it it was a full-fledged t-shirt trying it on was really disappointing because this is not the first time this has happened when i've ordered something through boohoo um when i've ordered a shirt through boohoo 
um any shirt that i've ordered through boohoo they all do not look like how they are promised to look on the website they all look um very much so like they went to the men's department and just was like oh we don't have any more crop tops we're just going to give her this shirt from from boohoo men and we're going to send it to her because it technically still has the same design and i feel like that's what they have done every time and it's unfair boohoo it's unfair so now i have to just work with it and take it and turn it into a crop top like i used to do back in middle school and high school um whenever i was wearing a shirt that was like super big you know just tie it up in the front maybe tie it up in the back and um i paired it originally with these biker shorts but with the crop top um, I wanted to be able to pair it with um, just a range of things. And now I feel like I'm very limited to what I can because it doesn't look like how it was supposed to look. Yeah, so I paired it in this video. I paired it with some biker shorts and I feel like it looks cute with the biker shorts. Like I can definitely get away with some chunky sneakers or my Vans or whatever the case may be. And I could still, you know, rock it and make it look good. And then also one of the main reasons that I purchased this shirt thinking that it was a crop top is because I wanted to go with these mom jeans that I got. Now these mom jeans did not come from Boohoo. They came from Pretty Little Thing. And if anybody's in, I know this is a Boohoo haul, but if anybody's interested in those mom jeans, in those jeans, <laughs> if anybody's interested, um, I will definitely have that link down below with the size that I purchased as well. Um, they are a little bit big on me, which meaning I would have to get them taken in a little bit when the time is right. However, um, I still like how they look in comparison with the shirt and I'm also tying that up in the front as well, or maybe putting it in the back. I, I feel like though this was supposed to be a crop top it works that it's like a regular shirt from boohoo men or something like that because it still gives me that like baggy edge that i like and so tying it up kind of just brings it all together and gives me that like edgy look however um when you're ordering something you should get what you pay for not what you somewhat pay for so the fact that this is like the third time this has happened to me i am probably never going to order shirts from them again because they don't give you what you ask the for. next thing that i got is this two-piece suit and it's actually the last thing that i'm going to feature on this on this try on haul uh, this two-piece suit was the motivation for me even buying some products from boohoo in general i kept seeing ads you know the feds be watching it's a blazer and short set and the only thing with this is the shorts are short so that is why it's a little hard to see the pieces are sold separately so that means that you could get the blazer in one size and you can get the shorts in one size i thought i would have been fine either way with the 10 the shorts and the 10 and the blazer i mean they the the shorts fit lovely um i just i guess that if i want a longer fit on the shorts i probably should have went up a size but i was scared to go up a size because if it's too big like that's really a bummer but other than that that's the only thing that i didn't like is that you can't really see the shorts because they're a little bit short in comparison to the blazer the blazer fits lovely it fits more lovely than the blazer dress that i purchased for my birthday a year ago and i think that i definitely could have benefited from putting like a camisole up underneath like even one of those like mesh bodysuits that go up under things and you kind of just see like the mesh lining of things like almost like a lingerie kind of thing so i feel like that will look good up underneath that two-piece suit i for the sake of this video did not feel like trying to go find a camisole to put up underneath it i just was holding it close this was my favorite piece to feature in this in this whole entire haul which is why i saved it for last because i absolutely love the way it looks and i like the way it looks on my body like i look good in red so i would also say that one is a 10 out of 10 would recommend be just because it is fitting how it promises to fit it looks like how it's supposed to look according to the, the model on the website and no surprises once again with this like everything worked the zipper zip the buttons buttoned and um everything was pretty good with that with that being said that is the end of the video and i hope that you all enjoyed this haul and that you all enjoyed this haul and that you enjoyed my commentary on the items and that you are motivated to buy some of this stuff even and if you don't want to i hope that you enjoyed it at, at, at the very least i know that when quarantine first started i was i don't know i found myself watching a lot of try on hauls just because that's something that kept me like motivated during the time that kept me engaged during the time so if this video is that for you go ahead and give it a thumbs up for me also you can follow me on my social at taylor rain and everything will be linked down below including some of these items if you are interested once again thank you for watching stay beautiful and stay safe